Diving into the vast and subtle space, there is an exoplanet called Proxima P that has a mass very similar to the Earth and is located in the habitable zone of its star, Proxima Centauri. The closest to Earth after the Sun is a red dwarf located 4.23 light years away from our Sun. Recently, with the help of the new James Webb Space Telescope, lights are being detected coming from the exoplanet Proxima B, which could be the latest proof that it is inhabited by extraterrestrials. However, this is not the most incredible discovery that the James Webb Space Telescope has provided us with about Proxima B. What will our new telescope have discovered on Proxima B? And how will this affect the possibility of sending a manned mission to this exoplanet? Stay with us to find about this mysterious discovery by the James Webb. If you are interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video and turn on the notification bell. Now, what is an exoplanet? An exoplanet is a planet that orbits a star other than the Sun and therefore does not belong to the solar system. Of all the exoplanets known so far, none arouses as much interest as Proxima B. As mentioned above, the star orbiting this exoplanet is Proxima Centauri a very cold red dwarf with a surface temperature of 2,872 degrees Celsius, 8 times less massive than the Sun and 500 times less bright. About 7 million kilometers from its star is Proxima b, which has characteristics very similar to those of the Earth, with continents, oceans and probably life, with huge auras giving the planet a greenish color in both atmospheres. As a result of the intense flares expelled by its star, forcing the magnetic field to generate this huge northern light. This planet is tidally locked, that is, the same face of the planet always points to its star, as happens with the Moon and the Earth. This means that the best area for life is the twilight zone. The surface temperature could be between minus 90 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius. It takes about 11 Earth dates to complete a full orbit to its star, and it has a gravity of about 1.3 times that of the Earth. Scientists are not yet clear whether Proxima b has an atmosphere, but if it does, the ingredients such as carbon dioxide, rocks and water necessary for the formation of the biochemical cycles we call life will be present on its surface. As of today, manned missions are impossible, but a project called the Breakthrough Starshot, supported by billionaire Yuri Mel, is being worked on to create nanoproofs that travel at 20% of the speed of light to visit our neighbor Proxima Centauri. Estimating that the speed of these nanoproofs would be 60,000 km per second, it would take a few decades to arrive, but it will help our future generations to discover secrets about a star Proxima Centauri and its exoplanet Proxima b. What will these nanoproofs find when they arrive? Well, it turns out that we have been receiving signals from Proxima Centauri. The detection was picked up by the Parkes Radio Telescope while investigating the star because it was emitting strong flares that caught the attention of Andrew Seaman of the University of California, who led the Breakthrough Listen project funded by Yuri Mel, which consisted of searching space for technological civilizations. This project is known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI. They began collecting and storing all the signals they discovered for their driving research until Shine Smith, a young college student at HITS in college, began examining the data until he stumbled upon the curious 982,000 MHz narrowband radio frequency emission hidden from view in the Proxima Centauri observations. From here, Sophia Sheikh of Penn State University took over the next signal analysis from the project and said, This is the most exciting signal we've found with the Breakthrough Listen project, because we haven't had a signal jump like this in our data before. The Parks radio telescope operated as follows to detect the signal. For 5 30-minute periods, the radio telescope pointed at Proxima, and then for an equivalent period of time, pointed elsewhere to check that potential signals are coming from the same target. Sophia said that over the course of about 3 hours in 5 of the 30-minute observations pointed at Proxima, that that signal returned, and when the radio telescope moved away, the signal disappeared. Referring to the importance of this discovery, astronomer Jason Wright of the University of Pennsylvania said that if you see this type of signal, and it's not coming from the surface of the Earth, you know that you just have detected extraterrestrial technology. To this date, work continues on the analysis of the signals to confirm if it comes from extraterrestrials, and with the help of the James Webb Space Telescope directing it towards Proxima b, it is believed that it could detect artificial light, 
and this would be the latest proof that civilization exists on this planet. Abraham Loof of Harvard University concludes that if the artificial nighttime illumination of Proxima b reaches 5% of the natural daytime illumination, the James Webb could detect this artificial light with 85% certainty. Proxima b is much smaller and dimmer than the Sun, which makes the habitable zone much closer to the star. Proxima b orbits at a distance of approximately 4.5 astronomical units from the star, which means its orbital period is about 11.2 Earth days. Proxima Centauri star is known to be quite active and produce violent solar flares that could affect the habitability of Proxima b. Additionally, the proximity of the exoplanet to its star causes its daytime side to be extremely hot and its nighttime side to be extremely cold, which could have significant consequences for habitability. Proxima b is the exoplanet of most interest to astronomers and researchers because of all the data discussed above, but it is not the only one that demonstrates Earth-like conditions to support life. In the Milky Way alone, 55 potentially habitable exoplanets have been confirmed, and those that remain to be confirmed and discovered. For example, in our neighboring galaxy, Andromeda, with dimensions similar to ours, how many habitable or inhabited planets may already exist? and also in the superclusters of galaxies. The Milky Way belongs to the local group, a cluster formed by about 40 galaxies, and this cluster belongs to the local supercluster with approximately 100,000 galaxies. Well, it is estimated there are approximately 10 million superclusters. After knowing this, just imagine that. If the Milky Way is not a very large galaxy and there are already 55 confirmed potentially habitable planets, Imagine in all these superclusters and in the infinity of the unanswerable universe, the number of habitable planets or even planets with life that may exist. The importance of discovering exoplanets lies in that it helps us better understand our place in the universe and answer fundamental questions about life and existence on other planets. The discovery of exoplanets allows us to explore the diversity of planetary systems and discover new forms of life that could exist on other planets. In addition, exoplanets can help us understand how planetary systems form and evolve over time. There are also important implications for the search for extraterrestrial life, as exoplanets are candidates to harbor life that can provide information about the conditions necessary for life to exist elsewhere. Finally, the studies of exoplanets allows us to test our theories and models about the formation and evolution of planets and stellar systems which helps us advance our understanding of the universe and our place in it. If you liked the video, do not forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below so we can interact with each other. See you in the next video.